Edna and Isuzu are a pair of new cruisers in Update 2.5 X-Way Strike. They're strikingly similar in some ways, but different enough in others to make for an interesting comparison. Etna is Italian and Isuzu is Japanese. Both are tier 3, battle rating 4.7 cruisers. For some history, there's also an interesting dynamic between the two. For some historical context, Etna and its sister ship, Vesuvio, were originally ordered from Italy by the Royal Thai Navy in 1938. In late 1941, Italy took over the contract and continued work on the ships after modifying the design to suit their needs as a troop transport cruiser with heavy anti-air protection. Once Italy surrendered to the Allies in 1943, the hulls of the two ships were roughly halfway complete, however they were both scuttled to prevent the Germans from capturing them. In 1945, both ships were scuttled, and in the late 1950s, both were refloated and scrapped. Isuzu is a member of the Nagada class of light cruisers, of which six were built from 1920 to 1922. Isuzu itself served in many battles during World War II, from the battles in the Solomon Islands campaign to the Battle of Leyte Gulf. It received some major refits during World War II, eventually winding up as an anti-air cruiser carrying a few heavy anti-air cannons and dozens of smaller autocannons. On April 7, 1945, it was sunk by USS Galaban and USS Char, two American submarines. It's interesting how Etna was never completed, but Isuzu has a long service life having undergone many refits, and yet they both wind up in the same place of being an anti-air focused cruiser. In War Thunder, Etna carries six 135mm cannons and three turrets, one in the front and two at the rear, while Isuzu carries six 127mm cannons and three dual turrets with one in the front, one in midships, and one at the rear. While they do have a similar overall layout of cannons, their performance is completely different. Etna's 135mm cannons are primarily anti-ship cannons, firing at 8 RPM with a wide variety of shell types, HE for light targets, AP HEBC for American destroyers and cruisers, and time to use HE shells for dealing with aircraft. Isuzu's 127mm cannons are built for anti-aircraft duties, with a ready rack fire rate of 14 RPM for 25 shells per gun, slowing down to 8 RPM afterwards. These cannons only have HE for light targets and time to use HE for aircraft, limiting their options against heavier targets. Both turrets also have their own issues. Etnas have an extremely limited broadside angle, requiring the ship to go flat onto a target to get all of its guns onto it, while Isuzu's turrets are particularly slow and can't turn in a full circle despite having the radius to do so. Overall, for primary firepower, Etna is better against armored targets and larger vessels, while Isuzu excels at saturating light targets with high explosive ammunition and downing aircraft with a higher volume of fire. When it comes to secondary cannons, both are designed to handle aircraft, but in slightly different ways. Etna has 10 65mm cannons in single mounts and 21-20mm cannons in single mounts. The 65mm cannons fire at 30 RPM with a high velocity of 950 meters per second, making them adept at sniping aircraft. They carry both HE and HETF, with timed HE shells being the obvious choice for handling aircraft. The HE is also quite useful for fighting smaller ships, though the small size of the cannons makes them struggle to effectively damage larger destroyers and up. The 20mm cannons may appear to have time choose ammunition, however the shells are just self-destroying, so looks can be deceiving. They throw out lots of shells, which makes them effective at deterring aircraft, though by the time they're really damaging and destroying an attacking plane, it's likely to get its ordnance off. Isuzu's secondary cannons consist of 50 25mm cannons split into 17 single and 11 triple turrets. These hit a bit harder than the Italian 20mm does shell for shell, and the larger number of cannons gives Isuzu a much more dangerous close range anti air nut. However, the lack of mid caliber anti air weaponry means it's easy for aircraft to get in close unless you're manually firing on them with the main guns. That isn't necessarily bad, as it can lure aircraft into close ranges by appearing to be a ship with worse anti-air weaponry such as Akuma or Sendai before opening up with its 25mm cannons. Overall, Etna's secondary cannons make it much more well-rounded, while Isuzu lacks a mid-range option but is far more dangerous at close range. For secondary ordnance, Etna has none, while Isuzu has 8 long lance torpedoes split into 2 quad launchers with one launcher on each side of the ship. While having torpedoes available is better than not having them, they do tend to explode and take the whole ship with them when they do, so it's generally better not to take them with the current damage models. Though, they can be an effective tool against cruisers, helping make up for Isuzu's lack of armor-piercing ammunition. In survivability, both are defined more by their class than by their actual stats. Etna has a 60mm belt, while Isuzu has two belt plates set out to 63mm, while Enna has a complement of 510 crew, and Isuzu has a complement of 580 crew. 
Edna's overall armor coverage is a bit better, covering more of the ship along with having no first stage ready racks or torpedoes that provide weak points. However, its worst gun arcs mean that the ship has to provide much more of its broadside, making it an easier target. Overall, both are very resilient against destroyers, but pretty weak as far as cruisers go, having similar defensive capabilities to each other. Last for vehicle stats comes mobility. Edna has a very low top speed of 52 km per hour, while Isuzu has a top speed of 59 km per hour. Etna is one of the slowest cruisers in the game, only being beaten in that by the Russian World War I cruisers, while Isuzu is just a little bit below average. That slower top speed also translates to much worse overall maneuverability, making Etna very sluggish. Etna is at a huge disadvantage here, which doesn't particularly harm its duties as an anti-airship, but does make it a bit worse overall. In playstyle, both have the same general idea, but with a few different points. Etna and Isuzu are designed to handle aircraft, making them great escort ships or relatively powerful in the late stages of matches where aircraft are common. Etna's various secondaries make it an effective ship for passively deterring aircraft, while Isuzu's longer range main guns provide a way to manually deal with planes at a longer distance, and the larger number of secondaries serve as a final measure for stopping aircraft on close attack runs. Both of them are very survivable against the destroyers they're constantly down tier to face, with the Isuzu doing much better against most of them due to the higher fire rate of the main guns. Etna is better against armored targets and at longer ranges due to having armor piercing ammo and higher velocity cannons, trading raw damage output for those advantages. Both ships also have the same weakness, up tiers. Neither of them can really compete with higher battle rating cruisers, particularly Isuzu due to its lack of armor piercing ammunition. Etna and Isuzu also have good lineups. Italy's 4.7 lineup has three other cruisers, including the particularly powerful Trento, and Isuzu has Akatsuki and Kako. Etna's lineup is also a mark against it though. Trento and Attilio Regolo are far better than it, so really it's up against Bartolomeo Saloni for third place, which doesn't leave it much wiggle room. Economically, they're dead even too. 26,000 RP each, both tier 3, and both quite easy to research only needing a minimum of two ships unlocked in the Japanese and Italian trees in order to start researching them. I would recommend Isuzu a bit more than Etna since it has significantly higher damage output against its most common enemy, destroyers, though both are so easy to unlock that it's not very hard to get both. Overall, it's easy to recommend both Isuzu and Etna, as they're very easy to get while grinding through these trees initially, don't have to face battleships, and can be used to grind further up into the trees. With Japan, Isuzu is a valuable part of their 4.7 lineup, while with Italy, Etna is better than Kodatsiere for filling up their 4.7 lineup until you finally unlock Trento. Thank you for watching.